Hello, and welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Clayton, and I do a lot of different things like book reviews or taste tests or just telling my story about my life. Um, it's something that I've really enjoyed. Now, with that being said, I've been gone the past three weeks because I was sick, and then I was busy, and then life happened. You know, but anyway, I'm back today with a new thing that I've been really wanting to try, and it is going to be taste testing Dollar Tree's weirdest foods that I could find, okay? And I, here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different things, and we're going to try them all, and we're going to rate them one to ten, and I'm going to tell you if I think they're worth it or not, okay? I'm scared to do this. <laughs> Alright, let's get into it. The first thing that we're gonna do, and like I said, I'm really I'm really scared to do this. This is Jennifer's Garden Traditional Spring Rolls. Now I don't trust this at all. Um, they were all these things were a dollar, by the way. Um it says as little as two minutes, all natural, eight servings. I did not cook that. I cooked one right here. Now, can you see? Yeah. And it is not, yeah, no, that's not giving, you know, quality, but I didn't expect it to. Okay, let's see what it looks like on the inside. It will break. Oh my God, no, no way. <laughs> okay, so that is what it looks like on the inside, and I'm really scared to eat this. Anyway. Three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. I'm going to go right and go down. It's like there's more of it. I'm just coming out of nowhere. I don't like that. Ew. Jennifer, you should be sued. You should go to jail. You should go to prison. Mm -mm. Ew. <sighs> two. Two out of ten. Don't do it. Now, it tastes like if you chewed on cardboard for a long time, that somebody threw a vegetable at you while you were eating the cardboard. So, no. No. Absolutely not. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> so, that was number one. And that got a 2 out of 10 because that was gross and disgusting and I hated it. Now, number 2. And I don't know how to describe this other than just say what it is. It is Mexican style street corn corn nuts. Now, I don't know what a corn nut is, but it doesn't sound like something I would want. So, it says crunchy corn kernels, right? We'll see. How do you eat this? Do you just like what is that? Okay. This is what it looks like. Can you even see? That? Can you even see like what the okay. Is it Yeah, no, 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 If you ever see this in the store, if you see Mexican style street corn corn nuts, run away. That was the worst thing I've ever eaten. It tasted like an old man. I didn't enjoy that at all. That's a zero out of 10. Nothing enjoyable about it. It kind of popped in my mouth. I did not like that either. So, yeah, no, not bad, thank you. Oh my god, that's disgusting, and I like. Oh god, I still can make it stop. Okay. <laughs> so that was number two, and no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 
that's disgusting. Ew. Okay. I'm a little bit more hopeful for this. This is Snickers Cookie Dough Bites. Right. Mind you, not refrigerated or anything. This is just like sitting on the shelf. And it says, ready to eat. Snickers candy bar pieces mixed in a delicious cookie dough. And I guess I'm kind of excited for them. I'm scared because of what Jennifer and Corn Nuts have put me through. But, let's see. Let's open it. I'm not open. This is what they look like. They look like little... Things. I don't know how to explain that. Um, anyway. That smells like something. Like a chemical, maybe? I don't know, let's try. You know, it's not terrible. It's not good, but it's not horrible. Um, it's like if you if you thought of a cookie, but you were like drinking water or something. That's what that reminds me of. Um, personally, not for me, but if it's for you, then it's for you. Okay. So that gets a five out of ten for me. Just because it wasn't horrible, like everything else that I've eaten, okay? God. I really am scared to do this next one. Like, more scared than I was about the corn nuts because it is freeze-dried pear crisps, okay? Now, I don't like freeze-dried things, but I was supposed to be getting the weirdest foods from here. And I decided that this was weird enough to get. So... Let's find out. Okay. I don't... Oh my God, it's dusty. Yeah. Okay, anyway. <laughs> oh God. This is what it looks like. Okay. This is a freeze-dried pear crisp. Um, let's do it, I guess. I'm not, I'm scared. Okay. That was really. Hmm. No. Well, no. Um, that wasn't as horrible as I thought it would be. Okay. Um, the first bite was horrible. I hated it. But then you bite it again, and it starts to taste more like an actual fruit. And that is a winner for me. Um, I would not buy this again. I would not, like, go out of my way to get this. It's squishing in my hands, and I don't like that. Um, so, pear crisps, six out of ten, okay? Six out of ten. I don't... I don't know how to feel about this. I hated the texture because as you eat it, it became more and more like a real fruit, okay? So it was like, I didn't eat a fruit first. I ate like a piece of foam. And then as I chewed it more, it became an actual fruit. I did not like that. Um, so, yeah, six. No, all right. Get this bag all the way from me. Now, next up, we have now these look appetizing to me in the store but i don't know how they'll be in ship form so we'll see this is Uts ripples fried dill pickle potato chips okay now give your taste buds a kick with these deliciously unique Uts ripple potato chips blah blah fryer twist grab a bag and enjoy Oh, let's see if I enjoy it. I don't think I'll go for a food for this one. Hmm. It's really pickly. Really pickly. Um, okay, whatever. Okay. 
Okay, so it's not bad per se, okay? But it did burn the top of my mouth away a little bit when I was eating it. So for the chemical burn, I'm gonna have to give that an eight. But if it didn't, I would give it a nine. Huh. Handcrafted since 1921. They need to hang it up. That was horrible. Um, they need to take out the acid part that burned off the top of my mouth. Because I'm going to talk with a lisp for the rest of the night. Because, and the little girl is green and she just looks sickly. Mm -mm. Yeah, I wouldn't buy that again either. No. Um... I'm fine. Uh, <clears throat> uh, okay, I'm fine. <laughs> um, go away. Alright. Go away from me. Now, the last food item we have is Brownie King Vanilla Blondie Bites. Now, I've never heard of this. Um, They had these in Amsterdam when I went, but they were like pre-made. So, Maybe it'll be good. I don't know. Let's see what they look like because I haven't opened any of this stuff. So. Are you good? Okay, look at the box. Look what we're supposed to be having, right? Okay. Huh. Oh well. Anyway. We will see. We will see about that. Okay. Gotta take the little panties off. Now, so it looks like it is chocolate. I guess, I hope that's what that is. I expected um so it's like it's vanilla but it's also very it's more sweet than anything I can't really tell what I'm eating sitting right over there um yeah I don't know what that was like if you asked me to describe that I could not do it and that's fine because hopefully I'll never have to describe that traumatic experience to anyone so <laughs> Brownie King Vanilla Blondie Bites. Deliciously scrumptious. You are not. You're a liar. But I hate you. And everyone at this company should be arrested. And I just ate like 110 calories of that and 13 carbs. No, don't do it. <laughs> Gen genuinely don't do that, ever. Um, I give it a four. That was not... It was like eating a brick of sugar. There was no flavor. There was no... No, don't do it. Okay. Those can go away. I don't run out of places to put things. Okay. Now, the last thing is what I'm expecting to be kind of like the least traumatic. So, I have my glass here. A little mason jar glass, right? And I have Boylan Bottling Company Shirley Temple in a bottle. So... We're gonna see, because I like Shirley Temples, so we'll see if this lives up to what I think it should. No. What's it smell like? It smells like a Shirley Temple. Let's see. Thing you have left is cough medicine that expired 
1983. They came from your grandma's medicine cabinet. That was what that was like. That was what this tastes like. And it's not... Doesn't remind me of a Shirley Temple. It tastes more like mustard. So, I'm not a fan of that at all. No. That's a no for me. Do not get this. I wouldn't get this. You can get it if you like mustard. I don't know. So, <laughs> that concludes our taste test of all of the different things that I bought at the Dollar Tree. So, I spent $7 on all of this stuff. I cannot justify that. All of this was horrible, with the exception of the cookie dough. That's okay. Everything else was the worst. So, if you go to Dollar Tree and you see any of these things, save your time because I've done it for you. And I am going to go burn all that and then I am going to go pour mouthwash down my throat because I'm absolutely disgusted at what I've just eaten. Now, <laughs> that was not good. Um, did not enjoy that. Zero out of ten experience. Um, like I said, the only good thing to come of that was the cookie dough bites, which weren't even that good. But, you know, it is what it is. And it's $7. So, <laughs> with all of that done, I will see you guys next week. And I'm back on schedule now for uploading things. If you have any ideas of what you want me to post, what you would like to see, any more things like this, a part two of this, I would be more than happy to do that. Just let me know. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys later. And remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye.